Cake. Hey guys, before doing anything, what I want you to do is go to my channel, press subscribe. If you're already a subscriber, then you can also do this. Just press on this bell right here, click send all notifications for this channel, check that off, and press save. So now you know whenever I make a video, you'll get the notification. Yo, what is going on guys, Previce here, thank you for watching this tutorial. So I'm going to be teaching you how to make a 2D game. So this is going to be the very first part of this series. So when I was, whenever I say 2D game, I don't mean GUIs, I'm talking about the normal Roblox world, but just a side view of the player or character, and they can only walk in two directions. So I have this script right here that I already made. Um, so in part one, which is this video you're watching right now, we're going to be disabling the player's movement. So we're going to disable the W and S key. Now we're not whenever I say disable, we're not going to be disabling it like like from Roblox like from this whole game. It's just disabling the movement of whenever you press W and S. <clears throat> now I know some of you guys might use the arrow keys to move, but <clears throat> we're just going to work on the W and S because that's the main way of moving in the game so uh, let's get started so what we want to do is check inside of starter player and look in starter player scripts now if you don't have anything good if you do have something delete uh, they might have like three scripts in there just delete all three uh, now if you don't see explorer and properties which are these two windows press on the view tab and press on these now by the time you're watching this video uh, Roblox studio might have like have a whole different look so don't worry just look for exploring properties and just try to stick with me so we're gonna press this play button now go inside of starter player now and starter player scripts we wanna copy these three scripts um, now the control script is just the movement of the players so not the camera movement just the walking and the mo the movement of the player <clears throat> so now since we copied those three scripts we want to paste it inside of start of player scripts now if you do control V and it paste right here let me just remove that uh, a way that I've been knowing but I should teach is control instead of just control V do control shift V so that it paste it can paste in that object that you have selected which is start of player scripts <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna go inside the control script. Open master control. Open keyboard movement. Now scroll down to line 69. Now we have this function called move forward function, which the func stands for function. Then we're gonna take this move backward function. We select both and take that out because we want to disable those movements now also line 93 and 94 remove those because uh, <clears throat> that those uh, it was just calling the function so we had to remove that so now let's test and see what's up as you can see it disables that uh, so I can move left right but I can move my camera so what if we don't want uh, our camera to move then what we do is we just make a GUI. So in starter GUI, right click, insert object, screen GUI, right click on screen GUI, insert object, text button. Now, if you're wondering why we're using a button, well, if you do a frame, uh, what, what we're trying to do right here with the GUI is because <clears throat> whenever you click on a button or you drag, you know how whenever you go like this, like you hold the right uh, button and you can drag your screen well if you drag your screen on a frame like let's play closes see while hovering over uh, this frame you can still drag let me remove that now let's try a text button and disable this as you can see you can't you can't do it you can't drag your screen because the button blocks you from doing it so that's why we use the text button 
Now we're going to remove the make the transparency one with well, the background transparency. Change the text to nothing. Let's change the size to one comma zero one comma zero, which takes up the whole screen, which is this screen right here. Now let's press play, and that's that's really the very basic. <laughs> It's that simple. Really, there's no scripting knowledge. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it of the two the two D. But in the next tutorial, we're gonna work on uh so how our player so whenever we press A and D, as you can see our character turns slowly, which is normal. But what if we want the character to look in that direction like really really fast like right whenever you hit D the character faces that way that's what we're gonna work on I think it's gonna be pretty neat but <clears throat> uh, I, I would say if, if you would if you like the movement like this what I would do is probably watch that tutorial just in case I add something else that uh, you will need because I'm not too sure what I'm gonna be adding that tutorial I know for sure I'm gonna be adding the the movement <clears throat> but yeah that's pretty much it so I hope you guys enjoyed please like and subscribe